All right, so this morning we're going to try a little test. I've got a bit of time right here. I'm doing some other drone testing and uh, reviews at the moment. Um, on my YouTube channel, some viewers have posted that the Mavic 2, the new Mavic 2s, they do not precision land. Matter of fact, uh, they might not even come even close to the mark from where they take off. So that seems kind of odd. But, you know, when drones come out, there's always a glitch. Not all the features are included because every drone company tries to get their drone to the market really fast. So there's always problems for the first one, two or three months. So what I'm going to do this morning really quick, this is going to be a fast video, is that I have the old Mavic Pro and also the new Mavic 2 Pro. And I'm just going to have them take off, fly out, come back and land. Let's see how precise they land. Here we go. All right, just so there's no confusion from anybody, I know I get a lot of comments about the uh, precision takeoff and landing. When you click here, you have a little slider and you have a little spot that you can click uh, precision takeoff on your screen. That is designed for beginners. A long time ago when DJI came out with the precision landing, they uh, did not have this. So what happened is they had a rule. They said, when you take off, you must take off straight up to about seven to 10 meters and then what as the drone ascends it's going to take an image of where it took off from and that's precision landing when you do this and you, you select precision landing on the little slider the little option in the slider it does exactly the same thing so for beginners this is a good option if you know what you're doing you don't have to do this so what i'm going to do for both drones is i'm going to do two flights each and for each flight one i'm going to do with the slider and one i'm going to do manually and just so we have a reference point both drones will sit like this see this h from the side you see how the legs they fit perfect in the h there we go so that's our reference point all right so for this first takeoff right here let me just move that so we have everything in view i'm going to hit the little slider oops select precision landing and I'm going to hit the little slider, and there we go. So you see the drone goes up exactly about 7 to 10 meters, and it just sits there. It's already got a picture of the landing area. So I'm going to fly the drone up to 35 meters, and I'm going to fly it out about 100 meters, and just have it come back and land. All right, and now on my little button here, see my thumb over here, because I can't see it. I'm hitting return. <laughs> I can't see anything. I'm going to hit return to home. Here we go. And now the drone should do its magic. Let's see what happens. What I'm going to do is I'm going to tilt the actual camera down so you can look down at us as it's coming down. We're getting close to the ground here. Yeah, we're coming. How are you going to do? This is the original Mavic. This is flight number one. All right, so flight number one, that's where it landed. Let's do the same thing again. Flight number two, but on flight number two, I'm not gonna do the slider. I am going to do the, the old professional way, which is basically fly straight up 10 meters, let it sit there, then go. We'll see if it does any better. About to do flight number two with the original Mavic. Now I should point out another thing. There's another odd little thought out there that some people think that the camera you know the camera you take photos and video with on the mavic that it has to point down and look at the landing pad in order for it to precision land that has nothing to do with the precision landing that camera has no impact on your precision landing whatsoever all right so here we go i'm going to do this the manual way all right here we go the manual there's no precision landing this is flight number two bring them in and all you do is go well, the obstacle it's saying right there is me. Hang on. Let's, let's just move this side so it doesn't want to back up due to an obstacle or anything. All right. So here we go straight up. Just move this up nice and slow. Get it up to a height of about 10 meters. It's going two, six, four. I got a bird flying around here. And uh, there we go. It's at 10 meters. Just let it sit there for a bit. This is how I normally do precision landings. All right, now I'm gonna take it up to 35 meters and back out 100 meters. Okay, just like last time, this is test number two. It is sitting out there. Here we go, I'm gonna hit the button. And like last time, I'm going to move the camera down. Let me see, get my little thing here. Move the camera down so it looks down. And there we are down there. 
Wow, that looks, this is coming down nice. There it is up here. There you go. Like I always say, if you fly like a pro, you'll land like a pro. So there you go. If you want to have a precision landing that works really well, don't use that little beginner mode. Do it manually. It works better. Fly up to 10 meters like I did. Because did you see the little Mavic? Look at this. All right, we're gonna do the same thing, the same thing again, but with the Mavic 2 Pro. All right, there's the Mavic 2 Pro below. Now watch what happens when I do the slider thing. Look at that. There's no check mark for precision takeoff. That's how it used to be in the old days with DJI products. There was no little check mark for position takeoff. It still does the same thing it's supposed to. So in other words, it should just fly straight up and it should do its thing. Except if the Mavic 2 Pro doesn't have any precision takeoff and landing abilities, well, then we have a bit of an issue. So here we go. Slide. I'll let it go. There we go. There it is right there. Here, I'll just get out of the way. There's the Mavic 2 Pro. There's my little controller. We're at exactly 1.1 meters. So I will just do like I do normally. I'll take it up to a nice little 10 meters straight up. Nice little slow jaunt up in the air. All right, we're at 10 meters. Holy crap, is my image out of focus? Hang on, do I have to tap to focus? All right, so obviously DJI did not fix the tap to focus perfectly in the Mavic 2 Pro. My image was out of focus there. I had to tap to have it focus. No idea. All right. The Mavic 2 Pro is up there and uh, we're gonna do our normal thing. I'm gonna take it up to 35 meters now and uh, out 100 meters and then we'll see how it lands. I'll try it twice. And now with the Mavic 2 Pro, the magic moment, hit this button and uh, let's see what it's doing. Aircraft is returning. All right. Let's see what it does. There we go. She's overhead. I'm facing the camera down so we can see where it's coming down. Landing. And uh, fingers crossed. Hopefully it doesn't land on me. All right. How's it doing? So I should, as it's landing here, let me point out, if it doesn't have a precision landing ability at this time, then that means DJI will add it at a later time. They just didn't have time to put all the features in these drones. So they're not perfect yet. They'll be pretty good in about six months. Let's see. Well, it looks like I'm not even coming close to my landing pad. Oh, and the camera turns up automatically. It's filming me, filming the drone, landing in the grass. There you go, dirty my camera up. All right, so by all standards, by DJI precision landing, that would be considered a fail. Yes, that would be a fail. Even the Spark can do better than that. So everybody who's been saying there is no precision landing on the Mavic 2, well, you're right. There is no precision landing. It, it lands like a parrot and naffy, actually. So second try, what I'm going to do on the second try is I'll fly it the pro way, which is basically I'll take off and I will just manually fly it straight up. All right, so here we go. Take off and I will manually go straight up. See if it does any better. And I let it sit there for a little bit. This is what I normally do. It sits at 10 meters. Okay, here we go. Second try with the Mavic 2 Pro. Do your magic, Mavic 2. Yes, go home. Do not land in the garage this time or on the house, but actually try to land in the parking lot. All right. Let's look down. Okay, I'm gonna bring the camera looking down and uh, here's what it sees coming down. And oh, it looks, oh, it's missing the mark again, looks like. Put my little controller down. So here it comes. This will be second try. Make sure it doesn't hit anything. Oops. 
slow down there. Seems to slow down just before it gets low to the ground and moves the camera forward. Well, so, so I wonder, did you notice something interesting there? That was try number two and it landed in almost the exact same place that try number one landed. So does that mean when DJI does the precision landing, they fly these things a pile of times, they take the GPS coordinates, and then they know to land. It's like when you're shooting a rifle and targeting it and zeroing it in. They know to land that they have to go minus X number of, you know, whatever in the GPS coordinates, a few inches, whatever the GPS says, minus so much more, and that will get it over to where it took off. I wonder if it does something like that besides taking the picture. Then the picture also does a little thing. I don't know. I'm not a techie. But uh, so... Fail for the Mavic 2 Pro for not being able to do precision landing at this time. Right now it's early September, so don't think if you buy this drone at Christmas time or sometime like that, that it's still going to do this. DJI will fix that. That's just a little glitch. There's a lot of other glitches like that. Tap to focus when I took off. That was just weird why the image was out of focus. I thought they fixed that. Anyways, hope you enjoyed this video. Take care. We'll catch you in the next one.